Welcome to Tizo Guitar. My name is Tyler Griffiths, and I'm going to be teaching you how to play Beetlejuice by Mariah the Scientist. Let's get into it. All right, so the first chord that we're going to need is a B minor 7. And the way that we play that is by barring the 7th fret with our index finger, the entire 7th fret. But we're only going to be playing the low E, D, G, and B strings. And the way the progression goes is you pluck the low E string first, and then you play the D, G, and B strings together at the same time, right after. And we do that twice. And to mute in between, all I'm doing is lifting up so that the, the strings are no longer touching the frets, but my finger is still lightly resting on the strings. And that'll silence it in between. Our next chord is going to be a D sharp minor 7 with a B flat in the bass. The way you can play that is just move that bar up to the 6th fret and then put your ring finger on the 8th fret of the D string and your middle finger on the 7th fret of the B string. And still going to play the low E, D, G, and B strings. So we'll start by going low E, D, G, and B, and then all them together. Okay, so so far we have B minor 7, D sharp minor 7 with a B flat in the bass. Our next chord is going to be a D over A, or a D with an A in the bass. Slide the bar down one more fret to the 5th fret, and then use your ring finger to hold down the D, G, and B strings on the 7th fret. And then we're going to do the same sequence we did for the B minor 7. And then for the fourth and final chord, it's going to be a C sharp minor 7 with a G sharp in the bass, which is the exact same shape that we used for the D sharp minor 7 with the B flat, only we're going to slide it down two frets and then play the same thing we did for that one. So all together, really slowly, B minor 7, D sharp minor 7 with a B flat in the bass, then D over A, then C sharp minor 7 with a G sharp in the bass. And then there's a little line that goes um, in between when you're starting over the progression. It goes um, on the low E, 5, 7, and then 5 on the A, with a little bit of a bend. And then you start over. And I kind of use my middle finger when I'm playing that line to kind of, so I'm holding it a little bit differently, that B minor 7 on the second go round, just because it's quicker for me to put my middle finger down and then have my ring finger tucked underneath. But I'm still playing the exact same strings when I play that B minor 7. Um, the only difference is going to come on that little line in between the progression. Uh, and that happens, so after you do the, and you start over, you do that on the second go round, you're just going to go 7 on the low E and then do the little bend on the 5th fret of the A. Like that. So really slowly all together. going to repeat that same progression throughout the entire song. That's all you need to know. 
That is it for this lesson. If this video helped you in any way, please go ahead and leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any song requests or comments, leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.